what is the difference between a circuit breaker and a switch. Over here I've got a variety of circuit breakers and over here I've got different types of switches. These are mostly for domestic applications but nevertheless the principles remain the same. I'm going to go through some of the main differences between switches and circuit breakers. A switch is a device that opens or closes an electrical circuit under full load or no load conditions. A switch is not designed to interrupt or open a fault current. Just having a look at the difference between normal load conditions, full load and overload currents. On the left here I have the percentage of rated full load current. For example, 100 means the maximum current that the device can tolerate. So full load is the maximum load that the device can handle, usually for a short period of time. Overload is about 10 or 15 or 20 percent higher than full load. So you can have a look at this line here. You can see it's 110 percent, might even be 120, maybe 130. But if we look at a fault current, a fault current is several times higher than the full load current. So having a look at the full load current, it's sitting over here. If we look at the fault current, we can see that it is significantly higher than the overload current or even the full load current. It can be three times higher than the full load maybe four times, five times, six times, seven times, even eight or nine times higher than the full load current. So fault current is much higher than overload or full load current. So a switch is not designed to interrupt or open a fault current. Because when a switch operates, an arc is often produced in the air gap between the contacts, especially when the current is higher and the voltage is higher. But a switch does not have arc extinguishing features like a circuit breaker. So the arc may be present for a bit of time and it often damages the switch contact because the switch is not designed to extinguish that arc. A circuit breaker on the other hand can open and close a circuit under all conditions. So that would be no load, no load means no current is flowing, full load as I showed on the graph, that is the maximum load that the device is designed for and then overload but then also fault conditions. So a circuit breaker can open and close under all conditions. A circuit breaker is designed to operate manually or by remote control under normal or abnormal conditions. A circuit breaker operates automatically under fault conditions. So what that means is you can use the circuit breaker manually like that. You can manually operate the circuit breaker. There I'm closing it and there I'm opening it. But when this is connected to a circuit and the current exceeds the rated current on the front here, in this case it says 16 amps. If it exceeds about 16 amps, this will automatically trip. A switch on the other hand has a manual operation. If the current exceeds a certain amount, all that will happen is the switch will burn out. The switch is unable to automatically open the circuit. Some circuit breakers can be remote controlled, meaning you can initiate a trip from a remote location. A circuit breaker is specifically designed to deal with fault currents and arc extinguishing within its rated specifications. This is one of the reasons why a circuit breaker is much bigger, the construction is more elaborate, and circuit breakers are more costly than switches and the mechanism of operation is more complex. Circuit breakers are essentially automatic off switches that provide repeatable operation. So what I mean by automatic switching is that if I turn on the circuit breaker, when the current exceeds a certain amount, a current transformer inside or relay circuit triggers a trip. What I mean by a trip triggers the circuit breaker to activate and open the circuit by itself and that's an automatic operation. So when it does operate it switches off the current and that is why some people confuse circuit breaker and a switch because yes a circuit breaker can switch off current but it is a protection device. It is designed to open a fault current at a certain amount. While switches for example are manual, there's nothing automatic here. This over here may look like a circuit breaker but it is not. It is a type of changeover switch. Historically, larger circuit breakers could not perform as many operations as a switch, but there have been significant improvements in the operation lifetime of a circuit breaker. Most can do 10,000 operations before servicing is required. It does depend on the type of circuit breaker. Circuit breakers that are used in domestic applications tend to have a far higher mechanical and electrical cycling than high voltage and high current circuit breakers. When choosing the circuit breakers, you can view the specifications and see the amount of operations that are available under each type of circuit breaker. For example, this circuit breaker, which can handle a maximum current of 600 amps, can offer 10,000 mechanical operations, 1,500 of which at rated current. Switches are usually designed for a high number of operations, exceeding 30,000 cycles. For example, this miniature snap-in nylon switch can perform about 100,000 cycles, but not all switches offer a very long lifespan. For example, this one only has 10,000 mechanical cycles and 6,000 electrical cycles. But having said that, generally switches are designed to operate more times.
larger circuit breakers can be repaired and do require maintenance. This is particularly true for the sulfur hexafluoride oil and air blast circuit breakers. For example, if we have a look at this SF6 circuit breaker, this manual offers the instructions for how to install it and service it. Just having a look inside, you can see there are a lot of moving parts, including gears, relays, pins, actuators, springs, and after repeated operations, these parts need to be maintained. Larger circuit breakers are designed to be maintained. The manual will explain to you what to do after a certain amount of operation. Smaller circuit breakers are not designed to be opened at all and they should be replaced when they become faulty. Switches too are usually just replaced when they are worn out or faulty. Switches do not have high thermal limits and they are damaged when there are arcs exceeding the rated current. For example, this switch over here has a maximum voltage of 250 volts and a maximum current of 16 amps. That means that this switch is able to open a maximum current of 16 amps. But if the current exceeds that 16 amps, say for example it's 20 amps, this switch may be damaged. Now if a current of 20 amps is here, you might find that you can't even operate the switch. You might find that the contacts start to fuse together. If you do operate the switch, you might even hear it arcing and you might find the switch gets hot and it might even become discolored around the sides here if it arcs and there's a bit of carbon that builds up. However, circuit breaker is different. Over here it says 10 amps. That means that at 10 amps, the circuit breaker is going to automatically trip and open the circuit. But on the front or on the side of the circuit breaker, we see additional values. Over there, it says 3 kiloamps. So this circuit breaker is able to deal with a fault current up to 3000 amps. Circuit breakers are designed to have a higher thermal capacity and are specifically designed to extinguish arcs. For example, if you look at the cross-sectional view of a switch and a circuit breaker, we can see that the switch is simply just contacts that rock open or closed. If it's a push-button switch, it's simply two contacts that are pushed together. While if you look at the circuit breaker, you can see it is more elaborate and it has an entire chamber just to deal with the arc. The circuit breakers are part of protection equipment and are specifically used to protect appliances, machines, transformers and in domestic applications even to protect human life. A switch is used for normal operating conditions such as turning on and off lights, appliances, electronics but remember under normal operating conditions. Some circuit breakers are specifically designed for high endurance use, almost like a switch. You might find in some industrial applications, a circuit breaker is used almost like a switch. Maybe every morning you'll see someone go and lift the circuit breaker and in the afternoon they might go and drop the circuit breaker. So certain circuit breakers are designed for high endurance discharge and it would state that on the circuit breaker. Circuit breakers require mechanical, electromechanical and electronic components. Circuit breakers have many specifications while switches have fewer. For example, looking at the specifications of these domestic circuit breakers, we can see the list is exhaustive. Here are some of the parameters and their specifications. While if you have a look at a switch, we can see there are fewer specifications. An isolator or a disconnecting switch is mostly used in offline operation. This is designed to open a circuit under no load. Its main purpose is to isolate one portion of the circuit from another portion and is not intended to be open while current is flowing in the line. Over here I have a short video of a 345,000 volt switch opening. Now, if a circuit breaker had to have opened that current, the arc would have been extinguished rapidly. Thanks for watching and cheers.